what did you think about Nikki and Cardi's uh, altercation at Fashion Week? Were you you were at that party, right? No, it was called the Icon Party, but there were no icons there. <laughs> That time when Katy Perry was Caddy Perry. Yes, I would say yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. No, I'm so sorry. I thought it was good. He's not ready for it. I feel like we should just say yes. Well, I don't feel like we should ever just say yes. I think. Well, I that, feel bad. Well, don't ever put someone through because you feel bad. Ooh, Ooh she told me. Are Perfect you hot baby. or are you cold on John? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna pull a Kara right here. Um, no, 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 no. Girl, I'm Ooh, really. I like you know that. what? All I'm saying we used is to be friends. We, we were like friends, cool. Girl friend. Girl friend. What happened to girl power, girl? I kissed the dolphin. I liked it. This up. I'll have to throw my coke in your face. Mariah reminded Nicki Minaj that she wasn't a real singer. Ouch. I express this to her as a singer. I just feel like what maybe trying to be expressed is just sing from your heart the entire time and your notes will continue to shine regardless of the dirt that gets splattered around you. After Nikki clapped back in Mariah in her classic way through her song, Mariah was a pure savage yet again. Nikki recently released a song. It's called Hell Yeah. It's about American Idol and she says, I'm quick to check a bitch if she is out of line. Are you the bitch she's singing about? Don't know. Don't know what she sang. I didn't know she sang. I thought she rapped or whatever. And again. Uh, can you say three nice things about Nicki Minaj? <laughs> can you? If you can remember Demi Lovato being iconic, then here it is for you. Like, I appreciate the vocals, but I also want to see, like, choreography, and I like the outfit. Oh, honey, like, go I to Vegas. I like the entire Thank package. You. <laughs> go to Vegas. <laughs> it's clear now. When Mariah can't handle it, she pretends to not know it. Demi Lovato, I didn't know this. She kind of shaded you on social media. She implied... She made assumptions about Ariana Grande, and she said, Mariah's a legend, and she's so talented, but she dish, she disses people. It's nasty the way she treats Jennifer. W what would you say to Demi? I don't know her either, and so I wouldn't say anything to her. And she should come up, introduce herself to me, say, here's my opinion. What do you think about it? That's how you handle shit. Okay. We can now see Mariah learned to be the savage from Whitney Houston. What do you think of her? What do I think of her? Yes. I don't think of her. I... <laughs> Billionaire Savage Elon Musk baffled the interviewer with his laughter when he was asked about Tesla's competitors. His comment will forever be priceless. Although there's competitors now ramping up, and yeah. as you're familiar with BYD, which is also on the West Coast, I think they're ramping up production of their electric vehicles. Uh, <laughs> Warren Buffett owns 10% stake in that. Uh, why do you laugh? Here he is trying to compete. Why do you laugh? Have you seen their car? Pink will definitely make you pause this video and wonder whether she threw shade at Kanye or Taylor Swift. You were there at the VMA, VMAs when this whole Kanye thing happened. I was there. It was the one time I really, really wish I would have won because yeah. I had this amazing Alexander McQueen purse with brass knuckles on it. <laughs> you would have used them? <laughs> and I, I, honestly, I don't think it would have happened if I were up there. Aretha Franklin was classy and iconic in every way, even up throwing shade at Taylor Swift. When I say that the name Adele, what comes to mind? Mm-hmm. Young one word. singer, good singer. Alicia Keys. Um, young performer, good writer, producer. Taylor Swift. Okay, great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. Mariah taught us a quick lesson on how to shut people up when they're trying to school us on what to wear. Now, Zane, you have a bit of a way to have something to say. Okay, all right. For the first five or six or seven years of my career, they made me wear a top up to here and things like this. And I want to show it, wear my, show my body in a dress. I'm going to show it. All right, but honey, thank you. And I'm very conservatively dressed today. Thank you. Thank now, you very much. You have so, a very this was Adele's way of reminding people to live in the moment. Yeah, I want to tell that lady as well, can you stop filming me with a video camera because I'm really here in real life. You can enjoy it in real life rather than see your camera. <laughs> you can take your tripod down. This isn't a DVD, this is a real show. And I'd really like you to enjoy my show because there's lots of people outside that couldn't come in. <laughs>
This could be the reason for Adele's massive weight loss. And, and the other was I met Adele. You, you met Adele? Yeah. Oh! Has she, she been on wanted, the show? She wanted, oh yeah, a lovely woman. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, she's thin. Uh, can we just talk to each other here? She, <laughs> You know, what, what is this song, uh, Rolling in the Deep? Yeah. She should add fried chicken. It is just... Let's be honest. Isn't it amusing when guests shade talk show hosts? Even better when it was unintentional. I feel like you should be on Dancing with the Stars when you fall off. Oh, when you fall off? So, I don't know. I only say that. Oh, no, you're on it. We bet Jennifer Lopez was waiting for this moment to clap back at Mariah Carey for acting like she doesn't know who J.Lo is. I went and saw a bunch of shows. Uh -huh. And I saw everybody. Uh -huh. I didn't see Mariah because at the time she wasn't playing. She hadn't started yet. Who? But I saw Britney, I saw <laughs> Shania. No, I'm playing because that's what Mariah said about Jennifer one time. I'm not trying to start anything. Just... <laughs> she, she does say that. Yeah, she She's does. She's forgetful, I guess. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We've met many times. Apparently, it wasn't very well received by Mariah. And I'm like, you know what? There was this whole thing when you were last on. I there was the moment where you said, I don't know her, and then that she said, was I so know long her. Ago, I can't believe people still make such a big deal I out know, of but it. Do you know each other? No. No. Okay. You, she says thing. you know her. Okay, I know she. You know what? I'm very forgetful. Okay. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I'm forgetful. Yes. Yes, there is no end to this. Would you rather see Mariah or Britney perform? Uh, Britney, because she dances. This is what happens when a judge judges too soon. But we gotta admit, Britney's face was priceless. And I would be really surprised if you guys are here next week. The first step through to next week's grand finale is Fifth Harmony! <laughs> Snoop Dogg has no chill even after smoking his blunt as he storms at popular group Amigos for mumble rapping. I have the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Amigos, but all them niggas sound the same. I said, nigga had me in the studio one night trying to do that shit. I'm like, man, cut this shit off. What the fuck am I here doing, nigga? I don't rap like that. After dropping multiple hints on how Miley Cyrus was no longer Hannah Montana, she decided to make it crystal clear. But there are a few subjects we're not going to get into tonight. I'm not going to do Hannah Montana, but I can give you an update on what she's been up to. She was murdered. After Miley Cyrus's shocking VMA's performance, Kelly Clarkson tweeted two words, pitchy strippers. She was obviously asked about it and she handled it like a total badass. Would you still liken Miley Cyrus's singing to a pitchy stripper? Or has she been able to- <laughs> I never said Miley Cyrus. You, you the tweeted during the VMA. The fact that I tweeted pitchy stripper and people thought Miley Cyrus is not my problem. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. This was during the VMAs. This was during never the VMAs. Never said Miley Cyrus, my man. Katy Perry performed that night. Lovely girl. Um. At the David Letterman show, Selena Gomez did not shy away from adding a savage remark on Justin Bieber. And I said something, and I made him cry. <laughs> well, then that makes two of us. <laughs> when Lady Gaga blatantly ripped off Madonna's Express Yourself, she sure didn't expect to be called out this way. They want to know what you think about Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga has admitted being influenced by Madonna. But when born this way, sounded more than a little similar to express yourself. Express yourself. Hey, 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 hey. Some wondered if influence was plain out copying. It feels uh, reductive. Is that good? Look it up. Apparently, when you're Cher, you are allowed to be this savage, even for Madonna. Name three celebrities you'd want to do a duet with. Oh, Adele, Pink, and, uh, um, not Madonna. 